Hello. 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 Let's say we have a store owner that wants to sell a Coke. One Coke at two dollars and forty-nine cents. Two Cokes total price three dollars and ninety-nine cents. So first we'll go in and check our Coke. Enter Coke. This is our Coke that we're selling. We have a thousand on hand. Our A price is two forty-nine. Now we want this. If you buy two of them, be three ninety-nine. So where we set that up, go into inventory, discounter. We want to add a discounter. We're going to call this Coke. We want to do departments only. We want to do it by dollar value. You need to select a department. And let's see if we can find soft drinks, which that has to match what we have on the Coke, which it does. So we're going to say discount 2, and the discount amount will be 0 0.4950, because that's each. So you want to discount each one of them by that amount. We'll make sure you have in a date, so I'm just going to artificially put a date in here. And so it only discount it between these dates. We're going to do a level A price only. Buy dollar, Coke, soft drinks, there's our discount. Save it. Now we go into our sales screen. We, we bring up a Coke. It's $249. Bring up Coke again. $399. Now we could do it a different way too. We could say two enter Coke three ninety nine. We can do it a different way. We can say Coke two forty nine. Let's go look for some different items. Say that. Say that. Return. We do Coke one more time, and it still comes up to three ninety nine. And that's how you put a discount on one item. And um, you can discount all of your items, but the secret is you have to, let's get out of here, in your inventory, make sure you set up a department. And so if you got a department set up, you can have multiple items say coke and a uh, pepsi as long as they're the same department they will um discount the same way that's it